Hey everyone, it's Joe and is AS from the Automator. And today we're showing off his Auto Hotkey Toolkit. This is an amazing toolkit. He uses it all the time. It's really cool for testing little snippets of code. My first question to you is in the comments, how do you test little snippets of code, right? Do you do you create a whole new script and run it every time? Or do you have a simple way to be able to just execute some, some little bit of text? Right, and the reason why I created this is because when I was using, for example, Notepad++ or VS Code or whatever, I had like I wanted to test something real quick, but every time I coded, I had to save the file. Now I have a temporal file somewhere that now I have to keep updating us. So, so what I wanted to do was just hold, to... hold on. You didn't mention how long ago was that? <laughs> that was like ten years ago. Already. Yeah, you, you it was this tool. I remember you using it in your videos. You know when oh, I first saw you and stuff. And I still oh, use it, God. and I still use it. And the only difference that it has now is that it now supports you selecting out of hot version too. So that's what we're going to uh, explain that now. The only thing I feel a little bit bad about it, but I haven't updated this thing in a little while. Um, so many of the changes are not really straightforward. And that's what we wanted to kind of like explain real quick. So this section here has a new part that allows you to select me too. I have a preferences degree and <laughs> had a lot of things going on in there, but at some point I just simply left it like that. I never continued on, mainly because of lack of time, but I hope to catch up at some point. It's not that difficult what I was doing at that time. So I think I'm going to catch up with that later. But so this section is new and the properties, even though it's not um, in the GUI right now, you can modify them. And the one thing that you do have to modify is where is the location of the B2 script. So if you go to the folder where you have your configurations XML, you can open it in your editor and just find um, V2 like that. And I think the first one that pops up, let me let me go to the first one because it actually found many. So this is the first one that shows up. Now, the number one, uh, this is where I would choose different paths for auto hotkey. So you can just simply put it wherever you have yours. I would probably have a file select instead of this in, in the GUI. So what I would do is just pick a path for one of them. Um, and probably default to the default location of them because those are the default locations in my case. But anyways, you can just go here and add a new path there with the name Unicode 32B2 and Unicode 64B2. That's the only rule for the name. You can just copy that one and put B2 after that and that's it. So after you do that, whenever you choose uh, one or the other, so right now if you choose version one, it would work just fine. V2 is going to complain because everything is an expression, so you don't have to force it. If you switch to V2 right away, it would throw an error and say, hey, you're not using the correct syntax. If you remove that, then everything looks good. So, Which is a really good point, is if, if you haven't played with V2 yet, yeah. this tool mm -hmm. is really helpful to allow you to play with it at the same time, still stay in your normal environment. If Exactly. With so basically, and it will not, you, you do not have to touch anything else. You're not saving a file. Actually, yes, this thing is saving a file for you, but it's not asking you right. for it, which is right. what I don't like about the other tools. It's just that. And I, I usually use a, a hotkey, Alt R, because it's a default button and you just go ahead and press Alt R on that and it would run. But however you like, it's just, um, I usually mainly use it to create GUIs really quickly. So I just create a GUI here, and after the GUI looks like I want, then I copy paste it into my main script because I don't want to be saving my script over and over again just to get one pixel right. You know what I mean? So as the other tools need me to save before running, that's where what uh, annoys me the most. Yeah, and slash or you might have a, a script that's four thousand lines, and you're like, I just want to test this little bit, and. Right. It's nice to be able to have an environment where you can throw it in very quickly, do some stuff, confirm it works or doesn't work, and then you know move it over. What some people might tell me is, okay, but you can select some code and run this uh, run selected code, which is one of the um, options that the S code has. Like you select some code, so does. And so uh, a hot key run selected key. script or something like that. Um, what I find with that is that. I have to keep selecting and sometimes I select the wrong thing. So I, I just 
for whatever reason, I haven't used this particular option that much. I actually tend to just go ahead and open this tool. Maybe it's because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm um, used to it. Maybe that's the other thing. I'm used to just simply using this tool very often and I forgot about the other options. No, I, I think the other thing is though, is which we run into a lot, right? And we always tell people when people ask us for help, when they try to troubleshoot, they have their code in their main script and that has a lot of other stuff there, yeah. right? And when you bring it to its own environment, you've isolated it down. It's a super simple way to make sure, you know, you really understand what's going on and you're really only right. troubleshooting that. And that is one I'll say, because I don't know what happens when you select this. I guess, it, like you said, it creates a temporary well, file, right? Well, it does. But, but the other thing is that notice that I'm calling a, a function here that I'm right. not selecting. What is going to happen? Well, if I control, I think is, let me, let me check on that. Uh, run selected script old F9 it says old F9 but let me see the one for plus plus control F9 yeah I will get an error right so and actually I don't even that's know error. what yeah. that yeah I don't even know what that is yeah. so so and that's the point um, in my case I just make sure that whatever I'm running is isolated into one little unit that I know that everything must be there but with this, I would have some issues if I select some code and yeah, I'm missing something. Um, do you have, is there, is that tied to like a paste bin also, your tool? A paste bin? Uh, well, yeah, I did have, I don't know. I think I disabled it. I disabled it, but I did have paste bin options in it um, that you were able yeah. to paste to that thing, you know, so you had to put your user key and stuff like that. And um <laughs> For the stuff that we do, we're always helping people, right? And and it would make right. it really convenient. You know, I have the gist hotkey I hit, and it throws it into my my gist and gives me the link. But yeah, that, I should I should update that yeah. into into creating a gist really quickly, in which you just have this, and I have it so that if you really like the code, you can Control S, and it would ask you to save the file. Cool. So if I could have like Control Shift S to get the the snippet or something like that, like the gist, Control G or something to get the gist. That would be a very, very handy thing for us to actually help other people right. whenever they are having troubles with some code. So right. that's a very good idea. Yeah, it, it is because, you know, you're doing this often. We, we use it on our live Friday calls. If you haven't checked it out, join, join us yeah. on Friday. We just help people out and it's we're often troubleshooting stuff and we want to give them the code. But, you know, in uh, YouTube, the you can only paste certain types, some I think it's brackets or something you can't put in the uh, chat. There's a lot of things that you're going to yeah. put in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> Even some swear so, words I've tried, but uh, <laughs> they don't work. But, but there you go. Awesome. So thanks everyone. Um, check it out. It's, it's, this is, but this is how, if you want to play with V2, it's a great way to check to be able to do that. Right.